uh, this video is going to be about Passover and the non-Jew. And the reason why that I want to bring it up is a lot of questions surrounding Pesach uh, for the Noahide slash Ger slash righteous non-Jew. Uh, what does that mean and who, who are these people? First and foremost, I must address who is a righteous non-Jew, who is a Noahide slash Ger. Uh, a righteous non-Jew or a, a Ger slash Noahide is one who has rejected completely idolatry and shetuf, that is any type of worship or symbolism of worship that is not of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, a person can be agnostic in the sense that they don't, you know, they're not atheists, but they're not really godly. They don't even fit in that category. But I'm talking about a person who considers himself religious, but, but if you are participating in worship of another deity or worship that involves the worship of uh, an image in, uh, to, to reach or to mediate between you and God, that's considered idolatry or shatuf. Now, with that being established, all the people of the nations, and they're from all over the world, I get contacts from Uganda, from Kenya, and thank God we have contacts all over the world that I can sort of send people to and that are coming out of the, the woodwork wanting to know, what do I do? I, 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 I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Christian. I want to embrace Judaism. What does it mean and what can I do for Pesach? And so I have a, um, a somewhat of a a quote that uh, Rabbi Skobach had, had given me, and I really appreciate it and had used it several times, and that it says, certainly, he sees no objection for a non-Jew, a righteous non-Jew, one who rejects idolatry and shatuf, to participate in Passover, Seders, wherever they're available uh, in the Jewish community. However, what happens if you don't have a Jewish community? Is it required for you to do Passover according to halakha? Halakha meaning exactly to the Torah law or the rabbinical law. The first answer to that is no. You do not have to do it according exactly to halakha. Why? Because first of all, we don't have a temple. And if we don't have a temple, Passover is merely just a, a, a remembrance now. Even though the Jewish people are commanded to do it, there's no temple. So there's no Pas uh, Passover lamb. There's no sacrifice, so the whole exercise of Passover as we know it today is completely uh, 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 a remembrance done by Jews across the world that is completely different than what it will probably be in the days to come when Mashiach's here. So with that being in, in the case, you're open. Now, should the non-Jew try to follow as close as possible to the traditions of Orthodox Judaism uh, in their Pesach uh, what do you call it, knowledge and understanding. I was explaining this to Rabbi Ingbert today. It was really important because he was asking, what kind of classes should we, should we start to set up, set up for non-Jews to watch? And what kind of things should we do? Should they be separate? Should they not be separate? And he said, for example, you know, I have a whole series on the, the, uh, the uh, halakha for or the laws of, of Pesach. And he says, I don't think that that would be germane to non-Jews. And I would say, no, 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 it's absolutely germane to non-Jews. And why would you say it's germane? Why would you say it's important for non-Jews to know? Like to right. You like to follow as closely as possible. You want to know what does God require of the chosen people, number one. Number two is how can we understand our position and what we're supposed to do if we don't know their position and what they're supposed to do? So I said, absolutely, it's important. I'll get right with you in just a minute. So it's absolutely important that we know what the halakha is. So that means that during the time of Pesach study, understand why, why for example, do Jewish families uh, calm out and look for all the chametz in the house or all of, what's the English? Uh, chametz. The leaven in the house. Well, what does that mean? Uh, the, you know, the Christians have said leaven is sin. It's, it's not sin. Leaven is things that cause stuff to rise or puff up. 
And we understand in the Jewish tradition that this whole idea of something that rises and puffs, puffs up is that which delays your immediate contact and adherence to what God calls you to do. What did leaven do in the Egypt? It meant that they had to wait for their bread to rise. They wouldn't be ready to leave when it was time to leave Egypt. So there are so many lessons to learn for the non-Jew in Pesach, in Purim. And you just go through all the religious high holy days. Absolutely important that you know it. But it does not mean that you need to follow all of the tenets and, and get around your house and take a feather and get frustrated by, is this chametz? Is this not chametz? Do I eat rice? Do I eat, don't eat rice? Do I eat beans? Don't get frustrated with all that stuff. Why? Because it's not mandated for the righteous non-Jew to do those things. However, it is important that you know what your Jewish uh, family, brothers and sisters do at this time. And if you want to implement some of those things into your life, fine. There's no problem with it. But make sure you do it, your, your, do it the right way and don't say, well, I'm going to look for chametz, but I'm going to do it my way. Right? If you're going to do chametz hunting, you do it the way they're supposed to do it. On the other hand, if you can't do it, you don't understand it, don't frustrate yourself. I remember one time someone coming to me who's not a part of this community but somewhere else who was in tears and almost fear of God because they didn't know how to work their children's lunch meal. She was not Jewish. Lunch meal for the next week in school. And she was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And this is terrible. And and, and, and I'm just so frustrated. I said, stop. You're, you're missing the whole meaning behind Pesach if, if that's what you're worried about. You should be more concerned as if you have actually come out of your Egypt. You should be more concerned that you've actually rejected the idolatry of Egypt, if you understand what I'm saying. You should be more concerned if you're ready to hear the voice of Hashem and go where He asked you to go. So that is the important thing. So try to bring yourself up to a level to where you have peace in the Jewish high holy days. So my suggestion would be, is if you're watching this and you don't have a Jewish community, and it'd be easy, find a Jewish community and ask, hey, would you mind as a Noahide or righteous non-Jew, I'm not a Christian, I reject all those things, can I participate in your Passover Seder? I, I don't know of a community that wouldn't allow you. There may be some, but Chabad is pretty open to it, and there are many other organizations that will. So with that being said, if you don't have a Jewish community, uh, get together with some friends or even your own family. And on the night of Passover, prepare a nice meal. Figure out uh, what you would like to have. Make it a big celebration. Light candles. Take the story, the Exodus story, and read the whole Exodus story. Just make it a treasure. Uh, and then have time with your family to talk about why is this story important? Why is it important to the Jewish people? Why is it important to us of the nations? And one of the things that we all know in this room, every one of us have had our Exodus event. Every one of us have come out of Egypt and we have felt the oppression of, of, of the world system, the oppression of a religion that is not God's religion. And we've come out of it with great risk. And so Passover for all of us is a very exciting time. But I would encourage you, don't make this holiday uh, a burden, make it a joy, try to find out as many things that you can about Passover, and it'll be rewarding for you. So uh, until the next High Holy Day, may your Passover be full of joy and excitement. Amen. Amen. So you can turn that off.